In this quick start video, we'll be using Duplicator to move a WordPress site from my home computer up to my hosting provider. To get started, let's click on the admin, open up the Duplicator plugin, and then we'll click the Create New button. This starts the package setup wizard. A package consists of an archive and installer file. The archive will contain your files and database with options to filter various items. The installer file is used to reinstall the contents of your WordPress site. Once we have our package set up, we'll want to proceed to the scan step by clicking the next button. Once a scan is complete, it will give us a full overview of our site. It's recommended that all values show in green, but it's not required. Additional details for each section are visible by clicking on that section. Once you're comfortable with the scan results, click the build button. The package is now complete and you can download both the installer and the archive file to your local computer. After uploading the archive and installer file to my hosting provider, we want to browse to the installer.php file at the new URL. Now that the install wizard is ready to run, we can click the next button to begin extracting the archive file. Next, we'll need to install the database. In most cases, you'll need to use your host control panel to create the database ahead of time. Once you have a new empty database, you can now connect to it by entering the setup fields. Optionally, you can click the Test Database button to validate the connection. Once finalized, we can then click the Next button to install the database. Once the database is installed, we now need to update it, along with other configuration setup data to finalize the install. Click the Next button to proceed. Your site now should be fully moved to the new location. Now we just want to log into our admin, And before we delete our installation files, we're going to go ahead and check the site really quick. Make sure everything looks intact. Now we can actually remove our installer files by clicking the Remove Installation link. And now our site has been completely moved from one location to another.